All right, hey, real estate school. We're at the closing table at our favorite title company, Investor's Title here in St. Louis, Missouri, buying a rental property. How so easy, we close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it, we'll throw cash, it hits so fast. All right, hey, real estate school. This is a video for you all. Mike and I are here today. What's the date? April 7th, 5th, 6th? Mm, April. April 7th, 2023. We are at the closing table at our favorite title company, Investor's Title here in St. Louis, Missouri, buying a rental property. We bought this property, or we should be buying it here in just a minute, uh, from another wholesaler. That's the lead source. Mike, you bought a couple from this guy before, right? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is probably the second or third. Yeah, you Chen, a real nice guy. I've talked to him a handful of times. He sends me deals. Oh, I'd say like once a month. And he really kind of, I think he's a newer wholesaler. He's looking for advice. He said, hey, what would you do with this one? And I tell him, hey, I'd do this on this one. And then he's like, okay, I'm going to go get it. Pretty and sure we it. offered less than he had had it at, well, but he was able to negotiate it down and still make 5000 I think. Exactly. So that's what he said. He said, hey, I think I'm like right here. Would that work? I said, no, I need to be here. And yeah, so he well, goes we got it done. Negotiates it. So lead source, another wholesaler. Do not discount the other investors in your market. They can bring you deals. The numbers real quick, and we'll run through it as we're closing in the docs here in a second, but I think we're buying it for 26. We're borrowing 70. Yeah. That ARV is about 125. Maybe a little high. Maybe but... maybe 115, Man. 120. It's a 1-1. One, one. We're converting it to a 2-1, and we're going to show you more about it as we go. Let's stop wasting our closer's time, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. here's the closing statement. Holly, you want to get a little shot of that one? So, again, what Dave said, we're buying for 21. We're paying that other uh, person $5,000 for finding us a good deal. Uh, we're borrowing. We've got a loan, which is, look at those pretty nails. Thank you. The loan right there for 70 debits and credits all comes out at the end of the day. We're getting $42,000 to buy this property. You're saying, whoa, that's crazy. Well, we're getting $42,000 because it's a POS. And we're going to spend that money to rehab the property. All right. Let's... Oh, wait, they're both Mike's lanes. I don't even need to sign. You don't even one. need to sign. You're, we need you for. I think I just got to sign the personal guarantee. Do you want two signatures on here? Just yours. Do you want two just copies? Two copies. Yeah. Wow. Why is that? Private lender. Didn't mention that. We are not bringing one dollar to close on this deal, folks. Okay. This is a private lender that we work with that is giving us the money, lending us the money to buy it and to rehab it. So the goal in this case here is, and we may actually sell it when it's all done. And maybe walk with you know 20 25k promissory note. So this is our private lender's note against the property that we're signing. So he's going to get a copy of that, securing his interest in the property as well, just like a bank would. He's got the first lien on this property, essentially, is what they first call and it. only lien. Yeah. So it's a deed of trust. But our goal with this one, again, we may sell it, but the goal would be to do a Burr method deal. Burr stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. Some people say burrs, they just use S instead of the last R for scale. It's the same thing. The burr method's not a new strategy. People have been doing this for probably 100 years. Buy it for 26, rehab it for 40. Hopefully we can do it for less, 30 to 35. And then we're gonna get it rented. We're gonna go talk to one of our long-term local bank or credit union lenders to refinance it. Yeah. So let's run some numbers. Here's some simple math here, folks. If we get this to appraise for, let's say, 120, and we get an 80% loan on it, the bank will lend us 96. We're borrowing how much right now? 70. 70. So we could essentially walk with money, or we could just get a less of a loan. So let's say we do get a 120 appraisal and we do a 70% leverage loan, we'd still have some on there. But you got to understand that 70 is the purchase and the rehab with no interest. Do you want me to So we'll probably anything? end up owing the lender, you know, five, six grand, give or take. So we're going to probably end up owing about 75, 120. Thank you. Time, whoop, 120 times 0.65 puts us at about 78. So we're going to probably end up being at about 65% loan to value. And we'll pay back our lender with the purchase, the rehab, and all the interest. And that will also include holding costs, closing costs. And what are the closing costs today by, by, uh, by chance? Since we're here at the closing table. 
Oh, well, not too bad. It's like a thousand bucks. Perfect. So the total comes to usually oh, doesn't page two like usually like highlight that. Oh, yeah, doesn't have it in here. Okay, so mm -hmm. seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Twenty one hundred, call it twenty one hundred dollars. Uh, twenty two hundred dollars is the cost to close for title and lender fee. Title, lender fee, so we've and got that includes title insurance as well. Awesome, thank you so much for. Yeah. This is probably not your normal closing with yeah, cameras like and microphones. <laughs> oh, do you want a date on there? Explaining yeah, the the process here too. All of our friends over at Real Estate School. Dave, we'll let you sign on the next one, buddy. <laughs> well, we'll get to sign something today. <laughs> well, we should be refinancing one of our burrs next Friday, hopefully. Nice. Mm. It's really seller of a seller, I believe. Now, so like as you can see, we read every document word for word here, right, folks? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, we've done this probably about 800 times already in our life, so we're pretty used to it. And a lot of it's just a bunch of disclosures and legal terms. So look at that. I don't have to sign anything? No. No, only on the refis. Did you say something about a guarantee, though? They didn't include a guarantee. Even better. No, I said for our refis, Dave oh, has to sign. Oh, the private sign. money lender doesn't require them. Personal he gets the house. He's got okay. the lien. Got it. But I was the, just making but the, sure. No, no, no. Yeah, you didn't miss something. The <laughs> bank will want the personal On guarantee. our refinances. Yeah. 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 So I have to sign that, assuming I don't have to sign the closing docs. Usually Mike can just handle it because he's got the... Yeah. I got the in, signature. In our operating agreement, we have uh, signature authority, which allows one party in the, in the group here to sign for all parties. So pro tip. So that's it. That's what a closing looks like. It's nothing special. Christine, you sure you don't want to be on camera? No, 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 no. You sure? No, no. You don't want to promote anything? Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. Can I have your ID real quick? You don't need mine because I didn't sign. No. All right. If you I'll sign, take it if you, want you need an ID. <laughs> now, the closer here notarizes a lot of these docs, which is, you know, the job of the title company and the closer. What gets recorded? The deed of trust the deed and of, the warranty. And the warranty. But the note doesn't, but it's referenced in the deed, correct? I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. 19 years in the game, I'm still learning yeah. this stuff. The note goes back to the lender. So they have a piece of paper that is referenced in the deed but not recorded. Well, the, the right? note is the promise to the lender to pay back the loan. Okay. The deed of trust is what secures the lien on the property. Oh, so that, okay. That makes perfect sense. So that they get repaid. Which is funny, though, because like a lender really could just be like, oh, no, the note said it was 1,000% interest. Yeah, there's no, like, it's not, it's it's not, not recorded, out there right? anywhere. Right? Good thing our lenders don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's all sorts of laws against it. And yeah. It's in the Bible, I think. Either way, we're getting in the weeds. Guys, Usury. that's what a closing looks like. It's not anything, you know, super, super crazy or hard. Um, we're just, we're here at the title company. And, you know, Mike and I don't, don't claim to be experts at title. That's why we use title companies. They also provide insurance. What you got? This is really cool, though. So... The person that we talked about who found this deal, if you're getting started, mm -hmm. you're probably going to try to wholesale. He doesn't even have to show up today. Oh, yeah. He made so 5000 He literally is just going to be like, hey, Mike, did you, uh, did you guys close? And then he's going to reach out to Christine. <laughs> yes, and they're going to wire if... him or mail him a check for $5,000. Yeah. And we're nice. happy to pay the 5000 because it's still a deal for us. So in the end, if we decide to do the Burr method, which is most likely what we're going to do, we're going to acquire this property with none of our own money, zero, we might even walk with five or 10 grand. We might not even spend the whole 42,000 in rehab. So we might actually get a, a little bit of money in advance today that's not even gonna go into the process. We're gonna refinance, pay back the lender. What'd you have for us? I just didn't know if you wanted to go over this at all. What is it? No. Your policy. Nah, we don't need to. Do you want hard copies or electronic? Please email only. Electronic, yeah. yeah. Email only, okay. Yeah, pay back our lender, purchase, rehab, and interest. Have a tenant in place. Management company will place and manage the tenant, and Mike will probably go to the property five, six, seven times between now and the time that it's rented. Well, our goal is to go about a hundred times this time. Well, we're, we're going to go a lot because we're going to document it for all of our friends yeah. over at real estate school. I love that. But usually speaking, you know, we're leveraging a lot of people here. That's that's really the big lesson, right? We're leveraging a private lender to buy it. We're leveraging the private lender to also help fund the rehab. We're going to have one of our crews do the rehab. So we're going to be leveraging um, some of our friends and our local crew to fix this property up. We're going to then leverage our property manager to lease it, collect the rent, do the due diligence on the application, 
and then get it leased and then manage that tenant. And then we're going to go talk to a local bank or credit union and we're going to get another loan to pay off the private lender. And the goal in the end is to actually use zero dollars. And on this deal, there's pretty, pretty high chance, I'd say 95% chance that we don't have to bring a dollar to the table, not only today, but when we refinance it in, I don't know, two, three, maybe four months tops, give or take. So this is how you acquire rental properties with none of your own money. The goal, the key, thank you. The way that we can do this and make it work, folks, is we're buying properties at 50 cents on the dollar or less. The ARV is roughly 120. We're paying 26. Yeah, it needs 30 grand worth of work, 35 grand worth of work, but we're buying it for 26,000. That's how it works. If we were paying 50 for this property, the numbers wouldn't work this way. But because we're getting it so low, zero dollar out of pocket rental and then the coolest part is is we're adding a rental to our portfolio that's going to be rehab it's going to have a new roof and new windows and new kitchens and new flooring so the maintenance and the capital expenditures on this property for the next five to seven years are going to be really 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 low all right that's it that's all there is to it thanks guys house so easy we close fast and any time that works for you your house don't need it we'll throw cash it hits so fast don't know what to do wanted to care to keep it no declutter